Hello everyone, how's it going? Um, this is Paul from Flutter Ferry. I know you've missed me. <laughs> I'm so sorry for actually going that long and without coming back. But today I'm back and I'm going to be making Flutter content again. I just hope I'm going to be making those content because I really love it here. I love all of you guys. So let's get to what today is all about. So today is all about deploying our, our app that we already have been working on, the Fuda Admin Panel to um firebase hosting now and then after hosting to firebase um hosting after taking this to firebase hosting and we would hook this up with our domain that we either got from google um google domains or from any other domain um, companies pro uh, domain providers so that's what i'm gonna do here and this idea was um, actually gotten from someone in the comment section he watched the video and wanted this um, wanted to learn about this because i think he's already doing it on his local host just the way we are doing here local host but we don't want that we need to take that to the web that's the um real thing we need to take it to the web because we might um this is what we are going to give to our clients or we might want to assess it on a different app um, machine so the web is the best place to do the, um, to do that so i'm going to be making videos for that right now and this was um actually asked three minutes ago um i actually i said this three minutes ago so um this is really really fresh okay so what do we do we need to head over to our project i, I have it here on my pc um, I'm going to open it. This is our Flutter project, and first thing we are going to do is to know if we have um, um, Firebase CLI already set up on our machine on this particular machine. So before I do that, I'll just do Firebase login, and this say already logged in. So some of you that might do this, you might get an error. Just know that you need to um, go to Firebase CLI. This particular I'm going to send the link on the description and we you need to set up your Firebase CLI. The, the best way and the fastest way is through NPM. Just go to Node.js, um, their site, install Node.js on your machine and you can run this um, successfully. Or you can actually get the CLI um, for any of your platform, Windows, Mac OS, or you can see here in our project that we already have Firebase and all these things because I've done this before, this tutorial. I'll just remove all of this and start afresh so all of you can you can see what is actually going on i'm going to delete this file delete this also now we don't have um firebase initialized in our flutter um for that admin project so i'm going to do this from start and do firebase in it so when i do firebase in it this is going to initialize firebase in this our project and i'm going to select on hosting um this hosting configure files for firebase hosting so i'm going to click on spacebar and then click on enter and it's going to ask if we are going to use an existing project i'm going to say yes i want to use an existing project and we are using this project so let's head over to this project and see uh, what we can do so we have the file um, our project here um, we can see here we already have the project and if we click on this we should go to something like this that says site not found because we have not deployed our flutter web app to this um yet and we have already set this up um with this domain but i'm going to do this and make sure that you understand what we did uh, what i did previously so you can follow up and do this so let's let's continue so the next thing i'm going to click on the project i'm going to click yes and it's going to ask what do you want to use as your public directly um, directory so we are going to point at um build slash underscore web click on enter and we are going to click on no on this and the next we don't want um github actions and say file it already exists override i'm going to say um yes or okay no we don't want to override that because we have build um do we have done flutter build release so we can still do that again let's do that flutter build web um release and if you click on this it's going to build our this our app on release mode so everything is going to be fine that way so if i click on this i've already done this that's why we have this in particular folder i'm not going to do it again so just do flutter web build 
dot dot release and it's going to do this way and you can deploy so the next thing we are going to do is to clear this up and do firebase deploy so when we do firebase deploy it's going to take some time um to do that deploying to casanova this and uh, you can see that's all counting finalizing releasing new version and we can if we go to this hosting url we can find our um, local host web now on the internet so we can visit this um particular url and see this our uh, project now it's on the web so if i click um try to log in now uh just do log in i'm passing our credential one two three one two three and log in you can see that we will get in and everything is should be working as expected like you can see our foods everything is working as expected. the next thing we are going to do here is for us to um add a custom domain to our hosting our firebase hosting just like you see here that we cannot use this um, um it's hard to actually read out so we don't want this maybe we already have a custom domain we we got from google domain maybe something else maybe like fuda.com and we want to use that on our application so uh on the hosting so we can just add that as a custom domain right here and firebase provides that uh, um can help us with that so we are going to do um um admin call, let's call this panel dot snabom so snabom is a um snabom.com is actually a domain that i got for a small application personal application i'm building so uh, i am going to show you guys based on this and i'm going to walk you through the dns part of it how to register and all of these things so i'm going to just click here um continue but clicking before con clicking on continue while i'm adding this panel maybe we are already using the main um snabom.com as the main site just like we have like facebook.com already using it as a main site now this panel here is a subdomain that you actually host um a different application on that subdomain uh, anyone going there will see different um application so that's why i'm having panel here so i'm just gonna click on continue i'm gonna be um this so they are actually asking us to um add this to our record so i'm going to copy this and um, this is the ip address and this is the host and then we add the record record the record type is a and we are going to update this on our um google domains in the rds and dns record so you, you should just go and click on manage record i'm not going to show you the upper part of this and um please don't do anything fishy with this please and the next thing i'm going to do is um to add panel right here now it's going to be panel you see panel snabom.com and i'm going to select the um, record type then i'm going to pass in the IP address for this um, for our web application and I'm going to click on save I'm going to click on save right here and the next thing let's go back and close dialog and this is um, going to be verified going to take some hours or minutes if it's the first time you're doing it it's going to take at least minutes and yeah let's see how it goes and I'm going to try to go to this domain and see if we um it actually worked or not uh first go back here okay and um, go back here and click on this let's see hope this works it's actually trying to connect everything very soon this not secure is going to go off so let's still go here and we are in sweet you can see now we have panel.snabom.com authentication and this is it you can use this on any um, domain provider any domain provider you can go to the C dns record edit all of those things add it just like i just showed you and yeah you can do this so uh thank you for actually watching and i hope i'm gonna be making more videos for you and i think one way for you guys to trigger me to make videos is for you to tell me what you need 
on the next video and I think from there i'm going to um fight and make sure that i make such videos so you actually learn and both of us even though i don't know that uh, from there i'm going to learn as well and that's the best way to learn so hope to see you on our next video um for those of you that are going to comment and uh, what we are going to talk about next so thanks and see you at the top